Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Beer Bar and Beyond. My name's Andrew. Today we've got another beer review for you. This time we've got something very special. Oh, I think so. Out of Darling Brew. This is their Godfather Rye IPA. Comes in at 7.5% alcohol by volume. Looking forward to seeing what this tastes like. Not too many Rye IPAs on the South African market. And yeah, I've heard uh, pretty good things about it. So let's uh, crack it open then. So right away, very nice looking beer, about two fingers of off-white head, very tight bubbles on that head. Yeah, very nice color, cloudy, rich amber color, very nice looking beer. Yeah, something that you that you generally expect from Darling beers. I've never had a Darling beer with any noticeable flaws in it or something that pours flat, always spot on um, with, their, with their appearance especially. Okay, so let's get the nose on this one. Mm. Wow, sure. That's definitely one of the poppier beers I've uh, smelled from from Darling. I'm getting that real nice tropical vibes, lots of tropical notes, papaya, melon, guava, some citrus notes too. Mmm, really nice. There's maybe a bit of sweetness coming from the rye malts, but yeah, overall, super impressed by the nose on that one. So it's time for the moment of truth. Let's give it a taste then, shall we? Cheers. That is very, very nice. That is awesome. I mean, this is a big, bold beer. It's strong. It's not the alcohol that I'm tasting. There is a bit of residual warmth at the back of my throat, but sure, that is really nice. Really well balanced. An awesome balance of malts and hops. Getting some sweet notes that cling to the inside of your mouth. It's definitely bitter. Not extremely bitter. Not, not massive West Coast IPA bitter. It's really balanced out well in the sweetness that's coming from those malts. It's by no means a, a subtle beer, it's a, it's a big bold beer. You're certainly not going to be uh, having a six pack of these. I'd say it's a great beer for winter, really going to warm warm you up. Such a beautiful looking beer, I really I really like that sort of off-white head. Yeah, you definitely get that, that rye sort of finish, that almost like rye bread for, you know, for lack of a better descriptor. Sweet bready sort of flavor, some stone fruit almost. I mentioned chocolate on the back of it, but I'm not really getting that. Big ups to um, to Darling. This is a, a bold step and one that I think they've totally pulled off. If these are the type of beers that they're going to be brewing, you know, I'm, I'm definitely going to be drinking a lot more of their beers. Initially, I think they hit the market with a lot of easy drinking beers, almost just enticing a new craft drinker. But I think with these these type of beers, they're definitely making bigger, bolder, full body beers. Awesome beer. I certainly recommend that you guys pick this up if you can. So guys, thanks very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you like what you've seen on the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you uh, think about the channel. And let me know where you think I can improve. You can also follow me on social media. Uh, all the links should be in the description below. So until next time, uh, keep drinking great beers and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.